Yes, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to GEA Fan TV. Donegal and Kerry have just played out a 120 draw each. An unbelievable game of football. Probably the game of year, the game of the year in my opinion. Just an unbelievable game of football. Um, I still can't believe it. That was some game um, between these two counties. Um, you know, undoubtedly we've seen you know just a tremendous amount of quality. I think both teams will hugely benefit from this game going forward. Um, in the All Ireland series, um, and definitely, there's, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that these two counties are the closest to Dublin at the moment in terms of which one is closer, in terms of challenging. I mean, we don't know at this time, do we? There's absolutely nothing split in these two counties. Um, you know, very, very close game. Um, you know, all around the pitch, just a tremendous game of football all around. Um, and of course, that is why I'm here to talk a bit about it. But of course, guys, first of all, if you are new around here, do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this out uh, to your friends and family. Let's continue this channel and let's keep it growing. Um, and yeah, you know, in terms of the opening uh, 10 to 15 minutes, I definitely think both teams are were very much getting into the game. Um, you know, certainly early on. There were some, you know, a couple of easy misses and a couple of easy chances. Uh, David Clifford probably didn't have his best game today for Kerry. I thought Donny Gall did a great job at uh, marking him out of the game. I thought the Sunday game panel were actually quite harsh on him, Colin O'Rourke. I don't think, were, you know, he didn't have his best game, but he didn't have his best game mostly because Donny Gall done a really good job on him. You know, one thing that David Clifford likes to do when he gets the ball, he always likes to, to hit it in from the outside um, of his boot. So he likes it, you know, if he has it on the right hand side, he'll cut back in. Uh, on his left and he'll try put it in that way and vice versa he doesn't really like to, to go direct um, and, and really try you know hit it from that kind of angle um, and Dudley Gall's on their homework perfectly they've won two men um, on him all the time um, and they've just done a really good job Stephen McManaman in particular um, done a very good job at keeping David Clifford out of the game but of course that did mean uh, spaces opened up for some of other Kerry's players um, in particular, Paul Ganey, very good game from him, kicked some wonderful points, got himself a goal as well. Of course, you know, you're looking at Sean O'Shea, great game, but in particular, Stephen O'Brien. I mean, this guy is some engine on him at times. I mean, in particular in that first half when he picked up the ball and he just drove uh, at Donegal's defence, hitting the ball over with ease. He's a very good player, um, in my opinion. And and Kerry all around have just got a very, um, just got a very good team, haven't they? Um, you know, in particular Adrian Splan as well. I thought he was uh, fantastic in this game. Um, he's a new player, of course, on the scene as well. So I think all around, like Kerry, can be very happy with their performance in this game. Um, and, and there was just nothing really to split these two teams. But for me, the best player on the pitch was undoubtedly Michael Murphy. Um, I just feel like he gets better with age. He's just, you know, for he's probably my favourite footballer at the moment, Michael Murphy. Like he, you know, and that's coming from a Dublin fan. Um, like he's just so good in terms of his passing at times. He can hit the ball seventy to, to eighty yards at times, um, or meters, I should say. You know, he's just got a tremendous um, amount of talent. He can kick the ball from distance. He can play up front. He can do the defensive duties as well. Um, you know, and he's just a phenomenal player and leader for this Donegal side. And in this game, he was just absolutely outstanding. Um, you know, his work rate at times was just unbelievable. Um, you know, his free kick taken, and of course, he can he can kick penalties as well. Um, just an all round very good player from uh, from from Michael Murphy. But of course, there were some other big standout players. Ryan McHugh had a very good game, in particular in that first half. Um, Jamie Brennan didn't have a great game for Donegal. I don't even think he scored in this game, which is uh, very rare. Um, so he didn't have his best game. He was very quiet. And certainly Ryan McHugh was a player that very much uh, did stand up for this Donegal side. Um, you know, Michael Langan as well in the second half. He hit some very good points, in particular in the closing stages. Um, and it was just a very good game. You know, Donegal didn't adopt the defensive style. They very much went for it. You know, two sides very much going for it. I think they both knew how much a victory would mean to either county. You know, if you win this group, you're going to very much more than likely avoid Dublin in an All-Ireland semi-final. Um, you know, I think the thing is, though, like if you're going to win an All-Ireland, you're going to have to beat Dublin at some stage. But I think you want the momentum, don't you? You know, you want to have as many wins as possible going into that game, and you want to be as prepared as possible. Um, and, and losing to them in an All Ireland final is always better than losing to them in an All Ireland semi final. 
Um, but looking at Donegal and Kerry, like they, you know, they could beat Dublin. Either one of these two teams could beat Dublin. It's it's not impossible, in my opinion. And um, we've seen Dublin have one or two off days already this year. Um, and we've seen in the past that you know Dublin in all Ireland finals, they, there's been one or two occasions where they haven't actually performed that well. Um, I'm thinking back to some of the Mayo games um, in particular, but you know we'll have to see obviously when it comes closer to that. But you know there's still the possibility that you know either both of these you know one of these two teams might not even be in an all Ireland semi final. Um, in particular, you know Donegal will have to go away to Mayo. At Castle Bar, and that's going to be a very um, difficult game um, for Donegal. Um, you know, and in the closing stages as well, both sides were just really going at it. There was, you know, a couple of black cards in there, in my opinion. I don't think there were black cards, in my opinion. I thought it was pretty harsh. Um, both decisions, of course, there was a red card um, in the closing stages as well from Tomas O'Shea, who came off the bench. Um, and there was just a, there was a real it almost felt like an All Ireland semi final this game or a quarter final, um, both sides just given absolutely everything, um, and in the closing stages, um, you know both sides just looked very good. Um, in, in my opinion, they, you know it wasn't even looking like either side were going to get tired as well, which I thought was just great to see. Um, but yeah, you know looking forward. It'll be very interesting to see what happens next weekend. Donegal, of course, going away to Mayo. Haven't seen Mayo played earlier. I definitely fancy Donegal to win that game, in my opinion. And I'd fancy Kerry to beat Mead as well. Um, I'm not too sure how that would mean in terms of score difference. I, th I think that would mean that Kerry... You know, we'd have to see, obviously... Um, I think Kerry have a plus one better score difference at the moment over Donegal. So we'll have to see what happens next weekend. But all in all, just a tremendous game um, of football... Um, absolutely brilliant hopefully we see more games like that in the future but anyway guys my name has been Aaron and I will catch you all next time